Hi, welcome to SIDS Tips. Thank you so much for joining me today as I look forward to diving in and doing a comparison with microphones for you today as I recently did a review of the USK Vision Vlogging Starter Kit which included this really nice rig for your smartphone. You've got your handheld tripod, a light, and then it also comes with a microphone. And when I initially, a while back, I bought my Canon M50, I bought the Rode Video Micro Microphone. And I thought, hey, you know what? These are really close and are just about the same size. They look similar. And I thought, hey, this would be a great comparison. So many people know about the video micro microphone, but for a little bit more money, for less than $10, you can get yourself a whole nice rig with this really nice case. And it's a, it's a great setup. So in this video, I'm going to do a comparison between the two. Now, if you find this video of help, by the way, and adds value, pr greatly appreciate a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber and would like to subscribe to my channel, click that subscribe button. And of course, that bell icon, so you'll be notified of new videos when they come out. So a couple of things before I, I talk about and, and show you the difference between the two as I do a sample test between the two inside as well as outside and I step away from my camera several steps back so you can really get a feel of, of how well the sensitivity is on the microphone. So first of all, with the USK Vision, you're going to get two cables. These are 3.5 millimeter connections. There is a difference between the two uh, and with the Rode Video Micro Microphone, it only comes with one. This will connect fine on a camera, but when it comes to smartphones, that's another story. It's a different type of connection. And so it's got three levels versus two levels. And so two levels, uh, the way it works on the 3.5 millimeter connection will plug into a camera, not a problem. However, with a smartphone, you're going to, uh, in, in a lot of cases, you'll need that three level cord. Now, again, this comes with the USK Vision kit. And if you really like the sound of it, and I'm going to put a link to uh, both. So you'll have um, the option to look at both. Then the USK Vision, you won't need to buy one of these cables. If you decide to still get the video micro microphone, then you would need that cable. So that is to keep in mind. Now, some phones still have headset jack connections. My Google Pixel 4 XL does not. Unfortunately, I also have a cracked screen. So what you're gonna need is a dongle. Now, this doesn't come with either one. I bought this a while ago and it works great. This just plugs right this into the bottom of the phone. And then I use the right cable that's got the, it's actually that cable for the phone. It's got a two level and then a three level. So the three level goes in to the, uh, the dongle and then the, the two part goes into the back of the microphone. So uh, just uh, something to keep in mind. I know I'm throwing a lot at you, but uh, I'll put a link and I hopefully I'm making sense. And of course, if you have a question, you can email me. Now, one of the other nice things, by the way, uh, these are the two wind muffs. So this is the wind muff for the USK Vision. And this is for the Rode microphone, very similar. One of the nice things as well with the USK Vision, you get this case and I also want to share with you, it does also come with a foam option if you decide to go as well. So uh, with the Rode, it does only just comes with the this wind muff. So there you go. That is the difference between the two. Uh, they both have the shock mount uh, as well. Uh, so you could see the, the difference of the mounts uh, there. So that would give you uh, also to something to think about. So what I'm going to do now is play the difference between the two different microphones, first indoors and now outdoors, and then I'll be back to give you my final thoughts. So here you go. So now I'm speaking into the US key vision microphone indoors, comparing it to the Rode video micro microphone. I do have the wind muff on the microphone again indoors with the US key vision microphone. I am now doing the test with the Rode video micro microphone indoors, comparing it to the US key vision microphone. I do have the wind muff 
again indoors so this will give you a difference of how the Rode mic sounds versus the US key vision microphone indoors okay so now we're outside and I am gonna do first the test with the US key vision microphone got a slight breeze got birds chirping beautiful day and here we go I'm gonna ten, do 10 steps back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so there you go now i'm 10 feet again you can hear the sensitivity of the microphone how much it picks my voice up now i'm going to walk back to the microphone and next i'm going to do is put the rode micro microphone on so you can hear the difference between the usk vision and the rode microphone okay so now i have the rode video micro microphone on i'm going to go 10 steps back and again this will give you an idea how the sound quality is versus versus the usk vision microphone so going back one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so now i'm 10 steps back you can hear the birds chirping give you an idea on the sensitivity of the microphone and now i'm going to come back to the microphone so there you go that is a comparison to the usk vision microphone and the rode video micro microphone okay so i have to say that the usk vision microphone doesn't sound really way off i have to say that for the money i, I think that is the way to go because now you're getting a whole lot more money uh, again, uh, you, you know, look, I, I'm giving you my unbiased opinion, and I'll also put a link to the review. And I paid for the Rode Video Micro, but if hearing the both, and it's nice to have this rig, I would say that is a, a great way to go uh, over the Rode Video Micro. Uh, this Rode makes great products. This is the, probably their more entry level microphone. Uh, they, they do have some other really good microphones, but I think, you know, for a little bit more money, less than $10 you can get this great kit. Let me know what you think. I think it's, it's, a, it's a great way to go, uh, very comparable uh, as far as the sound. And I think for most people that are gonna be vlogging, especially if you are in a tight budget, you, you don't have other, uh, other monies to invest in higher level of equipment, I think it'll be a, a pretty safe way to go. Obviously, if you invest in higher microphones, it's gonna sound better. Uh, also, you have Audacity that you can edit your audio as well, but I wanted to try and at least give you a comparison between the two, and I thought this is perfect, and so uh, there you go. Let me know if you have any questions. Put a link to everything, including the dongle, and then I'll also try, and if you are interested in getting the video micro, I'll try and find a link to one of the cables that would allow you to use it with your smartphone. So I really appreciate your time. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next video. Take care.